so that when you're walking, you're going to feel different things in there. Um, the fact that you tell me it feels like it's coming apart or other people will tell me it feels unstable or it feels like it wants a buckle. All of those sensations are common. They're normal, but they're just sensation. It's like the mechanics of the hardware, they're solid. You can't, you can't mess them up. You can't change them. So this is where we try to kind of talk to ourselves a little bit and we're like, right, I know what I feel, but I know what he told me. And so I want to work through it a little bit, not to the point where, you know, I overdo it or, or I'm, I'm taking un, unreasonable risks, but to the point where I can kind of desensitize it a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Just in case it's um, But what I found is that if I compression wrap it, which we'll do right after this, uh, it kind of changes those sensations again in a different way. The uh -huh. knee feels more stable. Yeah. Uh, and just to kind of get over the hump, Squeaky. sometimes that works. So we'll give it a shot and we'll see. Uh, the other thing is the compression wrap will squeeze the fluid out of the area. So we squeeze the fluid even just temporarily. We have a little more motion. We have a little kind of more, um, a different sensation coming out of the joint. Where does it go? Well, when I squeeze it, it's just going to pump it back into the system, the lymphatic drainage, and, and but it'll refill. It's just a temporary fix, but we'll take advantage of it while we have it. So relax there. And even for extension, like when I'm, think about what this feels like right now. Think about the sensation, think about, you know, the tightness, the guarding, everything that you feel here. Um, if I want to get more extension through a knee like that, at home, I would compression wrap it. When I do this, did we do this the other day? We did it. We used the on that bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is a little different. Um, so I, I put kind of my, my initial anchor wrap down at the bottom, just a full overlap. Then what I do, and it's, it's tight. It, it's not, you know, there's something called a lymphedema wrap. This is not a lymphedema wrap. It's tight, but we're only going to have it on here for maybe five minutes. And it might even be less than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm creating some mechanical pressure. It's a straight spiral wrap. It's about 50% coverage, meaning once I go, you know, over the previous level, I'm 50% I'm or so. I'm gonna add a second one. That's Washington DC on the caller ID. Maybe they're Expecting a call from the press. That's right. Got my direct line. Where needs all the help you <laughs> Or it's the fake IRS calling to tell me that I owe them money and I have to pay them in Bitcoin. Okay, so just like that, what does that feel like? Does it feel different? Does it feel different than the way it felt before it was wrapped? Tight. Okay. I'm going to bring this down. It's open. Go all the way down. I'm going to give you that same pull. Do your best to relax. Does that feel any different? And it might not. It doesn't have to feel different. Put a little tug on the top. Okay. So what's happening here is this is squeezing some of the fluid back into the system. It's a spiral wrap, so it's designed to kind of press the fluid back up. Um, because you feel the squeeze, because you feel the pressure, the nervous system is processing new information. It's not just processing pain, it's also processing touch, it's also processing pressure. Um, and sometimes those sensations will travel, you know, and stimulate different gateways, we call it. Right. 
So I'm keeping an eye on the time. Pretty good time. Yeah. That's hard to relax. I know. Let's do the ball rollouts. One more round and then I'll pop those off. Go ahead. You just go back as far as you feel comfortable. The fo You're only going back so you have room to push forward. The push forward is the main part that we want to focus on. So again, think about what it feels like right now. Probably a little throbby, a little achy. Maybe you feel a little pulse going on in there. Let's put the leg down. And what do you feel now with the release? Feels like I'm a lot more stretched out. Yeah, and so you just re relax, relax, relax. There you go. You know, and so even without taking measurements or, or anything formal, um, what I do is I try to just look at what we've got in terms of daylight under the leg. Yeah. So initially I was able to get my fingers up to my knuckles underneath there, maybe even a little more. Now I'm just barely getting a fingertip. Um, you know, without me pressing at all, there, uh, there's still a little bit of daylight, but it's absolutely the best extension that I've seen so far. So the goniometer is fine. The numbers are fine, but they can be off here and there. Um, we just want to work that kind of thing every single day. So let's do this. However you want to do it, I'm going to get you off the table. 